Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000. We're, today we're going to try this ghost pepper cheese noodles. Check this out. So, I'm going to put the intro on. I'll give you the nutrition facts here. I'll let you read those and we'll talk about this just for a minute. And we're going to cook these up. Well, you don't really cook them, you kind of just add hot water, but you get the idea. <laughs> So, and uh, I'll tell you how I got these ones. Stick around. Okay, so Monkey asked me one day about would, would I try some hot noodles from Timu. I was like, yeah, I'll try them, you know, because I still got some stuff over there from uh, my cousin sent me some stuff and I still got those over there to do yet I got some really cool ones I can't wait to try um, but <laughs> uh, so she got me these I'll, I'll go ahead and show you the nutrition facts on here it's a sticker very very tiny so I don't know how well you'll be able to I guess you can see that okay. If you want to pause that and read it. So we got the ghost pepper cheese. Spicy chicken flavor. Okay, so caution. Adjust your spicy level. I can't. This is so small. What's this? can't read let's see if I can read that caution I don't know I can't read it um, but there is a scoville unit thing on here tells you the units now, this is ghost pepper cheese but the scoville heat unit for peppers uh, a bell pepper zero jalapenos 8,000 this is so small. Cayenne. Cayenne. 50,000. Orange habanero. 350,000. And ghost peppers a million. So. Um, yeah. They just stuck this on here. Now. <laughs> I hope I like these. Because. She bought me a whole case. Now I've had these for. A couple months now. Um, but. I haven't uh, I haven't done them yet uh, there's the instructions on the lid and I'll probably have to zoom in apparently you just add hot water and let it set it looks like four to five minutes so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to boil up some water here and pour some water in here we're going to try this let's open it up and see what it looks like and I am so unprepared today it's pitiful I went and had my ultrasound done today so I go back uh, the end of this month anyway the end of this month 30th or 31st anyway I go back and for the follow up and then we'll find out if I if I need to go which they really want me to go have that um, that other procedure done poke with fork to drain here well how do I add water into it oh, okay so alright so that they tell you right here you poke it with a fork to drain the water out um, Yeah, I'm going to read this just to make sure, but I do know I open it this far, so let's, oh, here's the thing that makes it, this is the ghost pepper oil, guys, and it says, add at your own risk, so that must be that thing they're talking about, oh, okay, so we get a little, 
this is cool. Get a little fork and I guess kind of like a spoon. Uh, probably should have waited on. Oh yeah, also these are black noodles, dry black noodles. See, they're more of a dark brown, but they're calling them black noodles. So I've never had these before. So here's. I guess this is the powder stuff. Here's some more sauce. We're gonna try it without this and then we'll add this in. Okay, so there's I see a fill line in here, so I'm guessing just fill it up to the line. Let me get some water on boil, but yeah, so but these are look at these instructions are so small. I'm even wearing cheaters, like 3.5. And I'm having a hard time reading this. I'm go probably going to have to use the camera to read that. But it says I can clearly see four to five minutes. So I'm guessing you just fill it to the line, close it back for four to five minutes. But it says poke with fork to drain here. So they must want you to drain it. But I want to make sure I can see that first or make sure that's what I'm supposed to do first. So. All right, let me get some water on. Okay, so I was reading the, the Chinese part. That's why I couldn't read it. So what you do is, yeah, you open this up. You take your stuff out. You fill it up to the line. There's a line, that line right there. Fill it up with boiling water. You close it, and you let it set four to five minutes. Then you poke a hole over here, and they want you to drain the water out except for two to three teaspoons or tablespoons. Um... Tablespoons, so they want you to keep just a tiny bit in there. Okay, then remove lid and add seasoning sauce. And okay, yeah, and then you just stir it up and stuff. So, all right, now I'm gonna put the water on. Just wanted to make that clear. So it's pretty much just like any other of them. Just uh, fill it up to the line, let it set four to five minutes. Then you drain it out, except for a little bit. And then mix in your stuff. But like I said, we're going to try it first. <sighs> we're going to try it first. And um, then uh, it says there's something out back. I don't see anything. Then we're going to add this. This is going to be super duper hot. So I'm going to get, I better get some water to drink too. So hang tight. Okay, so I drained it out. I saved, uh, I put three tablespoons of hot water into the container and then when this was done once I drained it I just put three tablespoons back in they said two to three so get this off of here that's um let me grab a regular fork okay so I gotta use regular heavy forks because you know the feeling in my hands this I can't even really tell if I'm holding it <laughs> that's okay let's go ahead that's a piece of noodle <laughs> I was like ugh uh, <laughs> so monkey's not here she's We had to take them on back up to the hospital. No, we didn't. We used, we have to call an ambulance because we can't get her in the car when she gets sick like that. So, so this is the cheese sauce, apparently. I'm gonna add just a little bit more, whoops, water in there. <coughs> Stir this up, try to get this cheese melted in here. Now we're going to go ahead. I 
I'm going to scrap the other stuff first. I'm like, no, I want to try this first. So there's no rip things on here. Yeah, there is. It's right there. Okay. There we go. We got it. Boy, that's some thick stuff there. I don't know what it is. It doesn't really say. If it does, it's in Chinese, but it's some kind of... They just call it seasoning. And, uh... It's pretty thick compared to the other stuff. The other kind. wonder why they want you to do this last. Uh, you would think the cheese and stuff would melt better, you know, with the, while the water, the hot water is still in it. If I make these again, that's what I'll do, but I don't know. We'll see how this tastes. Then, we'll add this at our own risk and we'll use caution. How do you use caution? Because once you once you put this stuff in your mouth, that's pretty much it, you know? So, I don't know if it's hot before I put that in or just after, but <laughs> let's, let's try this. No, it's hot before. Wow. Wow. I don't know if it's in the cheese because it says ghost pepper cheese. So I think it's in the cheese. It's got a sweetness to it. Here we go, that's hot. And we haven't even added the, this, the, let's add this stuff in here. So yeah, Brian, I'll get to them other ones too. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, this is um, ghost pepper oil, guys. This is the oil. And I gotta try to get this mixed up really well. Oh, oh, whoo, doggy! Man, it's good. It's just so hot. Did the hiccups already? All right. <laughs> okay, man. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it, guys. Here we go, one million scoville. Yeah, because I got six, five more. Said a couple of these to my daughter and her husband. I'll be I'll be back with you. I'm gonna save this. I gotta get a popsicle. I'm gonna save this for Monkey to try. Hang on, I'll be back. <coughs> I got me a popsicle. 11.31. I'll be back with you and I'll show you what time it is, how long it takes for this to get off of me. Okay guys, so it's 
Oh boy. The thing looks backwards in there for some reason. That that was hot. Very, <laughs> very hot. Very good flavor though. I mean all in all, out of five, I'll give it a four star because it's hot. It said it is. It's really hot. It said it would be, use caution. And the flavor's good. I don't know what she gave for six of these, but I'm sure it wasn't very much. So I'll give it a four out of five star. I am going to let her take a bite of this when she gets home before she sees the video. I'm not going to take another bite. Now, it's not the hottest thing I've eaten. The hottest thing I've eaten was in Cedar Key, that sandwich. That was, I ate half of it. I ended up eating the whole thing. I brought it home, ate a little bit, and then ate a little bit more the next day and finished it off. But that was the hottest one. Um, I had to sign a waiver for it, and you had to wear gloves. You can you know, the the waitress that brought it out to me, they had she had to wear gloves just bringing the plate out. So, yeah, it was really, really, it was the hottest thing I've ever had. It was over, I can't even remember, 10 million scovels or something with everything. It, it was a good sandwich. I was a five out of five for sure. But there you go. So I'm going to let her try this before I let her see the video. And, um. Uh, so I'll keep you posted on how her mom's doing. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I got some... couple videos. I can do I can do them both in one video. I might do two videos. I don't know. They're Christmas lights. It's for a company that sent them to me. So stay tuned for that. And then I still got some more stuff that Brian sent me. So that's cool. And, uh, still can't wait to try that one out. It's, it's all in, in a different language, so. But, anyway, guys, I don't know if this is in Chinese or Taiwan, I don't know. But, it is good if you like heat. You could probably eat it without the extra hot stuff. But if you really, really love heat, yeah, go ahead and put that extra hot stuff in there. You know the caution stuff and you really enjoy it okay guys again thanks for watching appreciate you barely meant the man a legend did you guys hear that not that thump before that was me there I'm gone for now we'll see you in the next one bye bye everyone take care stay safe